Hello YouTube. So recently I was in a conversation with some co-workers about the cost of attending a university in California. And the recurrent theme was how expensive university has become. In one case, my co-worker was paying about $60,000 per year for one of his daughter's tuition. And another, about $30,000 for his sons. Aggregate this amount over four to five years and you have an insane $120,000 to $300,000 for a degree. That's almost the cost of a house. It's no wonder that the total US student loan debt is over $1.5 trillion. And since both of my coworkers earn a substantial amount, they both pay completely out of pocket. So it got me thinking, does school really have to be that expensive? And the simple answer, in my opinion, is no. And I'm a big believer that school does not need to be expensive. And if you're a California resident and you play your cards right, you can get a degree for under $20,000 and earn more than three times that amount your first year after graduating. Here's how. Step one, you go to a community college. As I explained in the map of electrical engineering video, the first two years of an engineering degree consist of about 50% of general education classes and about 50% of what I call core classes. General education classes include subjects like English, history, political science, art, and other classes that are not related to engineering, but are required as part of a degree. For these, you don't need to be paying a premium to learn as they are often basic classes that can easily be transferred. In fact, you can take some of these classes while in high school or in the summer. The second half, which I call core classes, are prerequisites for any engineering degree. These are STEM subjects like calculus, physics, chemistry, and other fundamental classes required for an engineering degree. These classes are also offered at your local community college, and you can use websites such as assist.org to help you figure out which classes can be transferred and count toward your degree at a four-year institution of your choice. If you follow this plan, you will see that you can complete half of the degree for under $5,000 as the average community college yearly tuition is about $1,600. This doesn't include a book, so I put an extra margin in there. Oftentimes, community college can even be free if you apply for a tuition waiver. However, this isn't guaranteed and it depends on your family's financial situation. In addition, when I was going to school, a lot of my classmates filled classes like physics and calculus, essentially throwing away their parents' money or getting in debt by thousands of dollars. If you do these classes at community college, you can decrease the amount of pressure and you don't have to break the bank. This should cover about half your degree for a very reasonable cost. The next step is to transfer to a four-year university while living at home with your parents. And if you're in California, you have access to California CSU system, which has an average yearly tuition cost of about $6,000 per year. Here, you will take all the real engineering classes that you won't find at a community college and have access to engineering labs, equipment, and staff ready to prepare you for the industry. I attended one of these schools, and the focus around these schools is to prepare you for a working career. In fact, some of the professors are actually part-time. They work during the day and often teach classes in the evenings or weekends, automatically exposing you to the engineering industry. In addition, some of these campuses have programs directly connected to local engineering firms that are led by professors. What this means is that you can work on a hands-on project with professors, make it count towards your degree, add it to your resume, and get to work on a project that's already linked to a company. This is like killing four birds with one stone. Just make sure you take advantage of all the opportunities they have available. I remember my campus often had job fairs, resume builders, and guest speakers to improve the opportunities of student success. The problem was that students often didn't attend, so make sure you attend these whenever they're available. Now we add all the cost. So year one is about $1,600, year two about $1,600 as well. I'm gonna throw in a year three just in case you struggle with classes or maybe need to repeat one or two classes. At another $1,600, I'll add about $6,000 for year four and another $6,000 for a fifth year. And assuming four to five years of school and you can get an engineering degree for about $20,000 or less, a completely reasonable cost for a degree where the average entry level engineering salary is about $70,000 nationwide. That's a return on your money of more than 300% or three times the amount. Even if your parents cannot help you and you take on student loans, you can pay these back without much difficulty. Which brings me to step three, prepare yourself for an engineering career by working on your own personal projects. 
As an example, I studied electrical engineering, so I bought myself an Arduino. Link in the description below if you're interested. While getting my degree, and I taught myself how to write basic programs and build basic circuits and robots even before the actual classes. What this allowed me to do was learn the concepts before even taking the class and start a portfolio of small projects. So when the time came to go to the job fair, I had so many projects to talk about and the challenges that I had faced building them. Ultimately, this allowed me to get an internship while attending school, which propelled my career by allowing me to start a job at a real company while I took classes that supplemented my work. And you'd be surprised what counts as a project. For example, I had a lot of friends that got jobs just based around tuning their cars. Companies just like kids that are hands-on and are not afraid to get their hands dirty. Since oftentimes, as an entry-level engineer, a lot of the work is hands-on and it's usually work that other people don't want to do. But since you're new, you have to be open to working on anything that might be required. And now, when it comes to the actual university name, I understand that other universities might offer a better brand or give you access to a larger pool of alumni. But in my opinion, it's just not worth the premium that you have to pay. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this. And if there's people watching this with an engineering degree, please feel free to leave your opinion in the comment section below. Anyway, that's it for this video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos.